Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show Dota user how to import MDX Warcraft 3 models into 3ds Max and export them to FBX for using it in Dota 2. So you need first you need a 3ds Max version and then you can go to under my server Warcraft 3 tutorials scroll down 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 to 3ds Max plugins and then there is Neodex 2.7 for Max 2017 and further. That means 2017 to 2021. Then Neodex for Chinese version of 2016. And the Neodex 2.7 for version 2012 to 2016. So, and when you're downloading it, you have to install it. There, I created a installation guide how to install Neodex here you can find it here I will put it down in the description from my video as well this is an old tutorial from the channel of my brother and yeah then when you're installing it then you're going up here here you can find the Neodex then you're going to import Walker free model and we import the model from the last video so so open it up import by some models it takes some time here it's quite fast but for models which are a bit high polio this could take maybe between 10 and 30 minutes so when you're importing it like here as you can see when you're gonna take that one and move it to the right it starts to um, play the animation and what you have to do is just go to Neodex here then go to Neodex Extra then go to the sequence manager scroll down to the last animation dissipate here it's the last animation and then you're going to click on time configuration there is a small button then you go from start frame 0 to the last animation now all animations here in then you're going to press CTRL or SCRG plus and A that means selecting everything and you're going to export export selected Go to the folder where you want to save it. So, and PG2 SS4. So, and then you choose FBX, save. Then you have to look at my settings, which I have here. N nothing selected here. Go, then there is a tab with animation. Use scene name don't um, disable remove single key then activate bake animations it should use all animations from frame um, 0 to frame 1193 oh. then here is nothing selected deformations is activated yeah here oh. is nothing selected so and that's it and now you press OK and you will export it for SFBX and now you can import it into your Dota 2 for um, animation uh, tool. So that's it. That's how you can convert the model from MDX to FBX. I hope you like the video. I hope this will help you with your projects. I hope you get access to so many new models and see you soon in next tutorial. Bye bye.